on ether back again with you all. I've just been looking at the story that's just come out about Kim Kim story on the Washington Post that Kim is near death, very sick, leader of North Korea. Well, the people don't really like him. <laughs> well, you can't blame them, really, can you? Because he's been threatening America with his little rockets. Trump certainly doesn't like him. Calls him Rocket Man. So people are, seem to be quite happy now that Kim Jong-un is um, possibly on his deathbed. We don't really know, but we just hear reports coming through. I first remember about uh, North Korea in 1949. I was seven years old and I was a, uh, I used to work on Saturdays for my father doing bricklaying labouring. I was a bricklayer's labourer at seven. He was building this house at Bustleton, cement bricks just after the war. One at a time, make the cement bricks, and my little job was to pick up the one at a time and put them on the scaffold for him. I used to work all day and get, um, I think it was a shilling a day, one shilling, it's ten cents a day. <laughs> but of course, you could buy a few things in 1949 for ten cents. Okay, and then one of the chaps that was working for Dad, they said, um, where's he gone? They said, oh, he's gone to Korea to fight the war. This is 1949. And I said, oh, how come he, well, they told him he had to go. And I heard somebody say, well, he won't be back. And of course, America, a lot of Americans, a lot of Australians died in the Korean War. And so I guess that has perpetuated the hatred and the untrust because as they divided up South Korea, North Korea, and um, put, a put the border across and you have people on North Korea looking across at those in the South and hating them and it's perpetuated this hatred. Okay, so everyone's, a lot of people are hoping that he's going to kick the bucket, as we say in Australia. Kick the bucket. That's not very nice, is it? Okay, so what are, what's everyone saying about Kim? They reckon he's overweight and uh, weighs 300 pounds, 36 years of age. Very young age, he's only a young chappy, isn't it? 36. And there's some chappy here is writing, He got too lazy in these comments. I know he's hiding because they all pick on him and call him Kimmy. He loves rat fried rice and sweet and sour Labrador. <laughs> Where did you get that from? That's William Shepherd two days ago. Yeah, that's a funny one, isn't it? Okay. What's another one here? Somebody reckons he's been eating. That's William Shepherd. Oh, he had another go. William Shepherd had to have another comment. He's been eating spicy bat soup. Wow, must be the Chinese. Spicy bat soup. Wealth is health, rich and lazy in Saudi Arabia. Well, that's got to do with it. When you're that overweight, your health is always going to be an issue. Hawk puts that in two days ago. Hawk. A little picture of a hawk. Derek Langford, Langford, that's the name of a street just not far from me, Langford. Hopefully he's suffering like he made the people of North Korea suffer. It would only be only karma if his death was long and drawn out. Ooh. So people are really hating poor old Kimo. He ate all the food that was supposed to be given to North Koreans. Ray put that in two days ago. 
Jonathan Roberts writes, Lo, his sister sure looks happy. Ken Bob. I know who Ken Bob is. I know a few Kens, but I don't know Ken Bob. That poor horse. Oh, why me? <laughs> when doctors cut into him, he bled cheese. I mean, if he wasn't so damn fat, he wouldn't have so many health issues. Well, a lot of people are fat. I'm a little bit overweight myself. Had the good life. We could all lose weight. Thanks to Kentucky Fried Chicken and the hamburgers, Ronald McDonald. He should have hired a personal trainer instead of gorging on food. I'm going to put that one in. After all those burgers and cheese, it's finally having effect, other than making him fat, in brackets. There's a few bad ones here, I can't actually read them out, they're not really good enough. YouTube says, put everything nicely, politely. Still time to get born again. Go to Ron Ether, Armadale West. Oh, that's me. <laughs> oh, isn't that funny? That one came up too. Now, and follow the instructions. See you in heaven. Pray to Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, that was two minutes ago. I just put that in a while ago. Oh, there's all these um, halos around the little, little gremlins and a bit of hand clapping. Okay, that must be for you. You little sinners. When you ask your people to pray for you, but they pray to their God, his great grandfather, instead. That was from Fresh Prince of Granita. Granita, wherever that is. Granita. Granita. Renata, three days ago. Sounds a long way away. I have to look that up on my world map. They're praying to the wrong God. Yeah, I think a lot of you are doing that. It's not just little Kimmy. I think he's got a lot of mates. Praying to the wrong God. God of sport, football, pleasure. Okay, let me read the Bible, see what the Bible says about all this situation, what's happening, what's going on, Rudy? What's all this with about Kim dying and someone else taking over? What's, what are we going to do about it? Oh, I've got my little Bible. Oh, a little tiny reading too. Oh, I don't know I can read it. Know this, that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Yes, just like Kim. Probably you a bit like Kimbo. Without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, blasphemers, and forgetting God. Well, there's a little Bible. These my Bible will be bigger printing, I think. Okay, so what do we learn today? 
What did we learn out of the little book with the big facts, the big punch? What did we learn? And from Kim, we've got to learn something. We learned that men are lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, worshipping the, the wrong God, worshipping his forebearers, his forefathers, not worshipping the true God. Who is the true God? That's Jesus, the Son of God. He is the mediator between man and God. So we come to God through Jesus who died on the cross. Have you got that clear? Okay, you must be born again. See you next week.